Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel Mrs. Francis Vlogs. On today's video we are going to be doing a mukbang and I'm saying we because I'm not the only one that's going to be eating all of this. I have somebody else coming but she's a bit shy she doesn't want to show her face on camera which is okay. No problem. So we are going to do a mukbang on Honduran food. We have the baleadas, we have the pollo chuco they call this which is the fried um, bananas fried green bananas with fried chicken and we have the empanadas and the chicken tacos with Mexicans call them flautas and we have here the cold drinks which is the banana drink and this one here is the grape drink so this is what we're going to be sampling today so stay tuned for the rest of the video We're gonna start off with the pollo chuco, which is the chicken and the and the fried uh, green bananas. And on this here is optional. I always ask them to put the sauce on the side because I don't like my plantains all mushy. So it's optional whether you want to add it or not. And in my case, of course, I'm gonna add some. You want some? Um, Maybe I'll let it. And I like mine with a lot of sauce. Mm -hmm. okay. And then this one here is the, the baleadas. I've actually made this one. Um, I'm going to link the video down below for the recipe of the baleadas. This one is a bit salty, but still tastes good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it is salty. It's salty, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Banana drink, banana flavored drink. Get a straw. <laughs> yeah, the cheese messed this up. It is so salty. They put a lot of cheese on it, but still good. Mm -hmm. The fried mm. chicken. <laughs> the onions are so good. Yeah. <laughs> For somebody that don't like onions, <laughs> she doesn't like onions, you guys. But this one is very flavorful to where she's actually eating it. What? <laughs> Even the chickens, mm -hmm. always very flavorful.
You said these are green bananas, right? Oh, green plantains. Mm -hmm. Green um bananas. Um, oh, they yeah. taste good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. So a lot of the these dishes, or most of them, have um cabbage. <laughs> mm. Cabbage and the sauce, which is um, and then aderezo, which is a mixture of mayonnaise and um mustard that they put on pour on it as well, and then on top of that, you put the the sauce. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so if you really look at the bottom of this. It doesn't really have a lot of the green bananas, but it has a lot of cabbage. So, I guess they're trying to say you're going to get full of uh, that cabbage. Mm Mm, this one has some jalapeno peppers. To make it spicy. <laughs> Somewhat. Because <laughs> um, Hondurians are not into spicy food. More mm -hmm. flavorful foods. Rich um, foods. Yeah. Mm I'm just eating the chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm just eating the chicken. Oh. <laughs> now the chicken, they're not mm -hmm. stingy with. This yeah. is a pretty big piece. So the next one here, this is the, um, they call it empanada, we call this um, pastelitos de carne, or meat pies. Um, and this is the pretty much the same thing as this one here with the cabbage and the onions that go on top of it and then you pour your sauce so if you want to eat it dry it's definitely optional and this one is with the so in the Hondurans the way they do it is they put um, ground beef with rice and um, Thank you. Mm -hmm. So ground beef with rice, but I don't really fool with the beef, but that's that's what this is on here, the stuffing in here. And then you could eat it. So this one, they decided to give me more rice than meat, which in my case is a good thing, because I don't really <laughs> fool with beef. Hold on. You can eat it like this, or... I mean, the stuffing is here, but it's the same thing as this, so I might as well just use what I have here. Mm. And then I can put it on top. Oh. He already has the sauce. And then you bite into this bad boy, and it tastes good. Mm. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. It is really good. Even the mm -hmm. the taste, the taste of the the batter, because uh, they make this with the corn flour, but mm -hmm. they make the the flour. They add salt to it and other ingredients to it to make it taste pretty good. Um, I didn't know corn flour could taste so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. If the person making it know what they're doing, mm. it tastes really, really good. So in this case, I'm very pleased that they put 90% of rice and like 10% of ground beef because <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't really eat beef. <laughs> so it worked out for me. Same thing on this other half. I could see more rice than... I wish the camera was closer so y'all could see that. <laughs> it's a lot more rice than than meat, but it's still very flavorful. 
So let's take a little bit from this one. And this one, the only difference from this and this is that they put cheese on here and on this one they don't. But other than that, everything else is the same. delicious very flavorful mm -hmm. <laughs> again down to the bottom and I see a little meat on there but <laughs> wow look mm -hmm. I think I took out here <laughs> not much of nothing but <laughs> I could stuff it with the cabbage. <laughs> mm You like it so far? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it tastes better with the cover. It tastes better with the cover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is nothing compared to the one I got and when I was in Miami. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was a joke. <laughs> this is a meat pie. I don't know what they, they call those empanadas, but that was a, a sad empanada. <laughs> All based in panada. <laughs> True. Very, very oily. Very oily. <laughs> but they were not Honduras. Oh. I don't remember where they where they were from, but no, they weren't Honduras. <laughs> <laughs> that made probably was good. So the next one here is the chicken tacos. Tastes just as delicious. Food. Too much food and not enough stomachs. <laughs> we are going to indulge in this one next. And same process, it comes with the cabbage, the what they call it, aderezo, and cheese, the Honduran cheese, and then the sauce, of course. Chicken taco or flauta. You want to take one? Yeah. So this one you could either be bougie and try to eat it with a fork or you could pick it up with your hands and <laughs> Enjoy it with your hands. Optional. Okay. Tastes good. You meant this too. Mm-hmm. 
I've made this here at home. The tacos. Beef inside too. Hmm? It was beef inside too. It's chicken. Oh. Yeah. This is chicken tacos. Hold on. The chicken in this is like a bit overcooked. Mm, because it tastes dry. You? <laughs> <laughs> so, I can really appreciate the flavor of it because it's, the chicken on it is it's kind of dry. I, the taco split open when they were frying it, so you over fry the, the meat on the mm. inside. So you can really, really appreciate the, the flavor of the chicken with yeah. it being that dry. It's hard. Mm -hmm. It's tough to bite into. Mm -hmm. Do you need more? No. Like mine is very saucy. Extra <laughs> sauce. <laughs> and I always tell them to put it on the side. And they'll give me this little container with sauce. And I told her none of the containers or none of the food has the sauce in it, so I need a bigger one. So she actually gave me a bigger one, which is over there. But it seems like we don't need it right now. So we're going to save that for uh, when we come back to this food. The cabbage, crunching the cabbage, the little extra crunch that the cabbage gave you, and the and the um the onions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. But look, I might close by so you could hear that crunch of the mm -hmm. <laughs> of the onions and the and the cabbage. Mm. Yeah. They put the onions in vinegar? Yes, they dip it in vinegar. I think they put some um, salt, pepper on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, they just let it sit there. Um, and they call this uh, encurtido or embutido. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like it gets fermented and that's why it tastes rich mm -hmm. and, and flavorful. Yeah, because you put it in a jar, you, you, know, mm -hmm. you let it sit for a few days and then once you get back to it, all that flavor is sipped in there. Mm. So, the reason why I don't 
I don't like for them to put the sauce on mine. Mm. It's because it gets soggy. Because it uh -huh. takes me like almost 30 minutes to get to the place. Um, mm. So by the time I get there, they become very soggy if they pour the sauce on it. But if they put it on the side, mm -hmm. then it's not get soggy when I get home. And then I pour the sauce myself and then enjoy. Even with the chicken, it will make it soggy and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, by the time you get home, they're still crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, it's good. It's good. <laughs> so, you will rate it out of, out of 10. Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? I'll give it a 10. A 10? <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe because of t chicken tacos? Mm -hmm. Maybe minus one. <laughs> so, so a 9? Yeah. I, I would give them, flavor-wise, mm -hmm. I would give them a 9 mm -hmm. because it tastes good. Mm -hmm. But overall, mm -hmm. I would give them an 8 mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, or even a 7 simply because I know how to make all of this myself, mm -hmm. but it, it, it tastes pretty good. They, theirs have a pretty good flavor. Mm -hmm. So overall, uh, eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I forgot about the extra um, salty cheese that they put on the baleadas. Oh, right. So yeah, it's still at an eight. Yeah. Because <laughs> mm -mm. that was too salty. Yep. <laughs> because they could actually, what they could do, is they could dip the the cheese in some water to let some of that salt mm. out of it. Oh. Yep. Oh. Yeah. So this is gonna bring us to the end of this video. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching our. Honduran food mukbang. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Everything was top notch, delicious wise. Yep. <laughs> very delicious, very flavorful, uh, mm -hmm. very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So, we definitely thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. And also comment down below if you've tried Honduran food or if you are Honduran, you know how to make this delicacies. Mm -hmm. And do you? put anything different on it like for me I don't really use cabbage I use lettuce when I make this type of dish mm. so just let me know comment down below if you've had it if you enjoyed it and uh, what state you at we are in Texas and mm -hmm. this one here uh, I've been going to this this restaurant here for over pretty much since I got here to Texas over 10 years and the flavor is still there, which is mm -hmm. amazing and is a good thing because it's rare to see nowadays. Right. <laughs> so definitely thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until mm -hmm. next time, bye-bye.